Oh, what a shot. Just over pitch to Marsh. Leans on it through the covers. And again, just too full. Looking to swing the ball, but just over pitching and it's paying the price. Through your action. Oh, and again. He's in some touch here today. Oh, there's an appeal, and here's a wicket. So the change of bowling has been fruitful. Oh, beautifully played. De Short sitting up there. Thanks for coming. Oh, he's got him. Chopped it on. Beautiful piece of bowling from Michael Beer once again. Well, that's good control over length because Adam Voges had come at him a couple of times in the last over. The rain's falling pretty consistently now, too. Michael Beer starts. Oh. Nice shot. Gets it through the gap, but Stoinis has been placed long off again. Don't think they can stay here. They're not. They're off. Get those covers out real quick. But, uh, the surface needs to be as uh, protect protected as possible. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of rain, but I think that there's a nice breeze at the moment. It's it's blowing through pretty quickly, so I think we'll see the boys back out there, hopefully fairly soon. Oh, nicely played and picks the gap behind square, so he's off to a flyer. Oh, that's a strike and a half. Oh, yes. Now, Matador Barbecue that's stationed up there. Top edge, and that's going to fall safely. It's going all the way as well, so six to Klinger. Has he got enough of this? I don't think so. Oh, yes, he has just. And it's got even better. It has with another six. Evan Gorbis has done the full circle. As uh, Klinger brings up his half centuries. Oh, yes, little inside edge of Beats Hanscom. And it's going to be close chase here. And a good effort. Oh, I think we may need to have another look at that one. I think he's got hold of this. It may just. Oh, this could be brilliant. This could be brilliant. And it is. I think Maxwell's done his absolute genius tricks again on the boundary. Stay there. Real short this time. He's donged it to mid on. Couldn't control the pull shot. And Beer at mid on takes a catch. Along pretty well there. Shot. Big six. Klinger comes into his own. Ah! Oh, that's hit him right under the shoe. Has to be close and is. Out to LBW. Glenn Maxwell comes into the attack. Oh, now top edge. No one wants it. No, it's safe as Cameron White. He doesn't drop them. And Michael Klinger has been chancing his arm. He's out for 87. Six. I thought it was gearing up for another catch. Rob Quiney was ready. Whiteman just goes with the short ball. Top edge, probably top edge, but hits it certainly well enough to carry the ropes. Yep, got enough on it. Doesn't matter if it was a top edge or not, but he's uh, got the desired result. Finished the innings with a six. Need one catcher. And there you go. There's the edge just past second slip. And very nearly a four. So a good save down there. You can see in the backdrop there the rain just starting to come down. The ground staff are getting their covers already. And uh, yep, it looks like the stumps are coming out and they're going to do their business and cover up that surface as quick as they can. And uh, unfortunately, we're going to have. Uh, a small rain delay. So two bowlers are allowed a maximum of four overs each. Two bowlers a maximum of three overs each from here now. 
batsman really having to be watchful for, for bounce as well as pace. Things or he's got to pitch up. Yep, does well. Flicks past short fine leg. Ty is making a great effort to cut it off. Misses it. Berendorf certainly would know him. And Whiteman takes a catch. Berendorf finishes a quality over with a wicket. And there it is, that ball swinging again, getting it nice and full. He just leans back on that one, times it really well, and it's into the seats. Crowd, though. Big full toss, he's going to come in handy. Number 23, I think it's short, and he picks up the big wicket. What a big wicket, Berendorf. Maxwell, Darcy Short seems to be an important fielder for Western Australia. That's flat batted for four. Well, this has gone right up in the air, and Whiteman's getting underneath this and should take the catch comfortably, which he does. So, another wicket falls. It's Dan Christian on this occasion. Andrew Ty, the man that's in the wickets. There's an appeal, a big appeal, and he's getting him. Even though he is wandering down the wicket, Andrew Ty gets the Bush Rangers captain. A decade or so. Well, this has gone straight up in the air, and Whiteman should complete a very simple catch. And he does with a little roll. So it's the end of Cameron White. Bowled in. Cartwright has struck now. He's joining the party. Stoinis has got to go. Hit well. Should clear mid off and run away for four. He did expose the stumps once again, and Voges has taken full advantage. Hope the rain comes. Oh, that's clubbed and clubbed well into space, and that should run away for a boundary. So uh, they're very happy. If he hits, he's in trouble, and he's in big trouble. Andrew Ty, take a bow. Well, that'll run away for four. So third man's up in the ring, and he places it perfectly. Oh, he's done that. Berendorf's out there, but uh, way too straight for that one. So Beer picks up four. 18 over innings, and you can Catch! pick up a bonus point. They've picked up a wicket anyway. Michael Beer's got to go. And Michael Klinger hangs on to it. Doesn't find the gap, Colbus. And that's it, that's the end of the 18th over. Umpires call stumps in the end of the match, and Voges thanks his big quick for a game that's uh, quite memorable. And he is the Matador Barbecue's one day cup player of the match, for which he'll get a four burner artiste and uh, turn a little rib fillet as quickly as possible.